Hunt, Brian Palmer and Danny Holt at 1-4-3, Keith Richards. Now, I think there's eight uh, five this afternoon and uh, they'll all get uh, three rides from four rides. Complicated system, but it works. Here they come down the first track. Keith Richards goes down to the first turn first. He closes the door on the rest of the field as he really hugs up. Clive Willis trying to go through on the inside, and there just isn't a gap there. And uh, Raz Palmer and Danny Hogg in third place, uh, fourth place, sorry, at the moment. Round they come then. Oh, who's that sneaking up through? his way up into third place. Clive Willis and Richard Webb lead now. Keith Richards and Gareth Bemister are there in second place. Certainly getting a move on here this afternoon. Gareth Bemister and uh, Mike Reed, uh, Wayne Reed, I think, and Clive Preston. And the race continuing. Out of the turn they come, they see the last lap flag. It's number one, Clive Willis and Richard Wayne. Tom Wayne Reed, Tom Tom Raz Palmer. No expected Raz Palmer to be down the bottom of the field there. And number 24, Tim Phillips, bringing up the rear. Round the last turn for the last time. Big battle now to the finish line. Five minutes through the winner. He pushes and Gareth Ferris is second. Then the wing is in my first. all very close on the line there. I'll leave that one to our two lap scorers to uh, sort that one out. Tim Phillips bringing up the rear. Race one, the 500cc sidecars, the international class, a win there for number one, Clive Willis and Richard Webb. In second place, it was number one, the four three, Keith Richards and Gareth Bemister. In third place, number 56, Wayne Reed and Clive Breston. In fourth place, number 57, just by a whisker, Matt Reed and Mark Thor uh, Mike Reed, Matt Reed, Mike Reed and Mark Thorpe. In fifth place, number 71, Raz Palmer and Danny Hogg. And in sixth place, number 24, Tim Phillips and Scott James. The winner's time was 1 minute 32.47 seconds, a speed of 47.84 miles per hour. Number 45, James Peters, 126, Kevin Taylor, 26, Paul May, 65, Lee Bartlett, 201, Lee Pittman, and 25, that's uh, 28, sorry, S. May. Under's orders, and away they go, down the first straight they come then. 201, Lee Pittman leads down to the first turn, Lee Bartlett, the Battle of the Lees. Lee Pittman out in front, Lee Bartlett in second place. Lee Bartley coming up alongside, not quite doing it that time. He uh, tried to show him the front wheel, but it didn't quite work. Lee Pittman leads. Lee Bartley now moving through on the inside. Oh, for leather around that corner, and they come very close together, but it's just Lee Bartley now from Lee Pittman. Can Lee Pittman do it to get it back on this corner? Lee Bartley, Lee Pittman. Kevin Taylor. We've we lost number five, Mr. A. Millen. On the numbers. 65. Lee Bartley. From Lee Pittman. Lee Pittman takes it back on that corner and goes down to that straight ahead of Lee Bartlett. Can Lee Bartlett answer that? As they come round the pits turn. Starting to catch up with that tail end of it. Lee Pittman wants it and wants it bad. Lee Bartlett is right there after him. There's the last lap flag. One more lap to go of the Battle of the Leeds, with Kevin Taylor in third place. Paul May in fourth. Both riders pass that tail ender as they come round the pits turn for the last time. The checker flag is being made ready as we speak. Round they come then, it's 2.01. Lee Pittman that takes it from Lee Bartlett in second place. Ignore 28, he's a lap in arrears. 1.26, Kevin Taylor is the next man home. And then Paul May. 
The win for number 201, Lee Pittman. Second place is 65, Lee Bartlett. Third place to 126, Kevin Taylor. Fourth place to 26, Paul May. And fifth place, number 28, S. May. No other finishes. The winner's time was 1 minute 35.77 seconds, giving an average speed of 46.19 miles per hour. Here they come then, they're on the first straight, and Paul Simmons is the most best of it at the moment. Chris Still goes there with him into that first turn. Chris Still picks it up a little bit on that corner. Paul Simmons sneaks around the back of him and comes through again on the inside. It's Paul Simmons now down the back straight on the Roy Simmons Yamaha. From Chris Still in second place. Third one, Paul Simmons from Chris Still. From Mr. R. Bartlett, from John Pilcher. Well, do we have a fall of air? I think that was uh, Mr. Bartlett that fell on that turn. And he's picked it up and he's A-OK. -okay. Back to the front line. Paul Simmons. Chris Still. Well clear of Tom Pilcher now. Stammy's authority on that third place. 127, R. May. 27 having a go at John Pilcher again, not quite enough to get there that time. Last lap pack goes for number 31. Paul Simmons on the Roy Simmons Yamaha. For 82, Chris still in second place. Look at this titanic battle going on between John Pilcher and Mr. May. It's 198 Kevin Ball and 212 Sean Smith. Oh, showing off as well now, Paul Simmons on the Roy Simmons Yamaha takes the win from Crystal in second place. And it's John Pilcher, Mr. May, Kevin Ball. Race three, the 250cc solos and a cracking win there for number 31, Paul Simmons. Second place, number 82, Crystal. Third place, number 49, John Pilcher. Fourth place, the number 27, R. May. Fifth place, number 198, Kevin Ball. And in sixth place, number 212, Sean Smith. Now the finisher, the winner's time was 1 minute 32.40 seconds, an average speed of 47.88 miles per hour. From the top, 31, 82, 49, 27, 198, 212, 1 minute 32.40, 47.88. Get a look in DR Leisure for all your clothing requirements for this winter. Have a look in the grass of Storm and at Bob's videos as well while you're in that neck of the woods. Here they come, left-hand sidecars for the first time I'm asking this afternoon. And it's one, two, three, three, four, the winner, winner, I think the sun started earlier on, that score straight into the lead. Penfold, taking himself off the non-starters list, he's got that machine going, and down he goes down that turn. Penfold, and we're off in lead. Actually, the non-starter was Martin Cuff. Sorry I didn't give you that earlier, misprint in the programme. Here they come then, one, two, three, Blue Penfold. From 142, Terry Nicholas and Michael Raymond. And a little way back in third is 81. Chris Downs and Steve Dowling. And then number two, Kevin Penfold and B. Taylor. All action on the front line. Billy Penfold on the inside line. Terry Nicholas trying to take an outside line. There's one more lap to go. And there's England v Wales. Uh, style heat. Down the back straight they go then. Little Penfold and Will Offen. Little 
Into the last turn for the last time. Powering out of that turn now. One, two, three. Billy Penfold will off and take the check and play. And one, four, two. Sarah Nicholas and Michael Raymond in second place. Then Chris Downs to Steve Bowling. And Kevin Penfold with Taylor. Bringing up the rear. Trace four in your program. A win for number one, two, three. Billy Penfold and Will off in. Second place to number one, four, two. Terry Nicholas and Michael Raymond. Third place, number 81, Chris Downs and Steve Downing. And in fourth place, number two, Kevin, pa Kevin Penfold and B. Taylor. No fifth finisher, the winner's time, 1 minute 40.83 seconds, a speed of 43.88 miles per hour. From the top, 1, 2, 3, 1, 4, 2, 81, and 2. No other finishers, 1 minute 40.83 seconds, 43.88 miles per hour. Next Sunday, we have a uh, big clash of events. Quite sorry to report that, really, but a big clash of events next Sunday when the John Underwood event is held up there at Aston Clinton near Buckland. Or is it Buckland? It's Buckland Village near Aston Clinton. Just off the A40. North of the M25. A great venue up there and a top class entry of riders riding in the John Underwood Memorial event. And the other meeting next weekend is the 40th anniversary meeting of the Southern Centre Grand Strike Riders Association at Uslebury or Uslebury, Winchester. Here come the left hand side cars, part two. No one to race on the cup in this one. A 151 Graham Hilton goes down in the first turn first. Paul Grayson is there in second place. Out the turn to go and down the back straight, the big Godden V twin of Graham Hilton powering his way towards victory. And look at Paul Grayson chasing after him. Paul Grayson really means business in this one. Graham Hilton, Colin Clark. Out of that turn and going for him. Grayson with his pupa in second place. Then Clive Holland. Then Mike Downs and Nathan Brown. Nicely spread apart, make it easy for us. Paul Grayson not losing any uh, great amounts to Graham Hilton there, so he could mount a big challenge on the last lap. Colin Clark from Paul Grayson. And Chris Berwick. Then Clive Holland and Steve Fish. Mike Downs and Nathan Brown bringing up the rear. Last lap flag then, Graham Hilton and Colin Clark. On the 1000cc Gordon B Twin, built in East Morley, manufactured there. And down the back straight they go for the last time. Into the last turn for the last time. Has Paul Grayson got anything left? Can he make a move on Graham Hilton? Graham Hilton looks as determined on the last turn as he was on the first. He's given it well four down that straight. It's Graham Hilton and Colin Clark. And Chris Berry come home in second. Then Clive Holland and Steve Fish. And Mike Downs and Nathan Brown. Graham Hilton and Colin Clark. Second place to number eight. Paul Grayson and Chris Berwick. In third place was number 27. Clive Holland and Steve Fish. And in fourth place, number 114, Mike Downs and Nathan Brown. No fifth finisher, the winner's time was 1 minute 43.79 seconds, a speed of 42.63 miles per hour. 350 solos coming to the line then, looking for Kevin Buck, Steve Higgins, R. Bartlett, Rob Gaston, Steve Smith, Stuart Allen, Brian Cornelius, Chris Pay. Adrian Phipps, Gordon Walker, David Mears, and John Springer. What a what an interesting lineup there for race six in the 350cc solos. Yeah, We've got a red flag up, full start. There were two riders there who hadn't come to the line, Kevin Buck and uh, Stuart Allen. It comes across from the outside. David Mears in third place at the moment, alongside of Kevin Buck. Kevin 
350cc solo is a win for number 33, Richard Smith. Second place, number 4, Kevin Buck. Third place, number 139, Dave Mears. Fourth place, number 6, Steve Higgins. Fifth place, number 59, Chris Pay. Sixth place, number 48, Brian Cornelius. Seventh place, number 84, Gordon Walker. Eighth place, number 184, John Springer. Ninth place, number 14, R. Bartlett. Tenth place, number 76, Adrian Phipps. Eleventh place, number 43, Stuart Allen. And in 12th place, number 21, Rob Gaston. The winner's time was 1 minute 25.70 seconds, a speed of 51.63 miles per hour. From the top, 33, 4, 139, 6, 59, 48, 84, 184, 14, 76, 43, 21. 1 minute 25.70 seconds, 51.63 miles per hour, and here come the 350 solos, part 2. And Lewis Denham holding on to four. Lewis Denham goes through into second. Bob Dolman picks up the first place. As they go down their back straight, here's Bob Dolman leading, and here comes Lewis Denham through on the inside, clean as a whistle. He then goes a little bit on the wide side, and Bob Dolman cuts it back on the inside. Can he get it back again? Yes, he's got it. Bob Dolman again powering after him, through on the inside of that exit of that corner and down that straight, it is Bob Dolman from Lewis Denham. Lewis Denham trying the outside line, Rudy giving it what for, but Bob Dolman's got the advantage of the track craft at the moment. Bob Dolman, Lewis Denham, Gareth Hickmott. 46, that's Harrison, Spencer Harrison, Steve. A lot of 350s here today, ladies and gentlemen. Look at those two at it on the front line as Lewis Denham again comes around the outside and really goes for it. Tries to tighten up his line. Bob Dolman is right there with him. Side by side as they go past the uh, last lap flag. Just one lap in this battle to go. Lewis Denham's got the difficulty to see. He goes wide again and Bob Dolman comes back at him and up alongside on the straight. What's going to happen? It's the last turn for the last time. Denham goes wide. Bob Dolman comes through on the inside. There's the checkered flag. Who's he going to move? Oh, that was close. Gareth Hickmott takes third. Lee Bartlett fourth. Spencer Harrison, Matt Etherington, Michael Peters. Race seven. A win for number 16, just Bob Dolman. Second place, number 81, Lewis Denham. Third place, number seven, Gareth Hickmott. Fourth place, number 65, Lee Bartlett. Fifth place, number 46, Spencer Harrison. Sixth place, number five, Matt Etherington. Seventh place, number 37, Michael Peters. Eighth place, number 55, Paul Morphy. Ninth place, number 155, Shane Hooper. Tenth place, number 99, Gordon Ashford. 11th place, number 27, Rick Humphreys, and 12th place, number 12. The winner's time was 1 minute 27.24 seconds, 
an average speed of 50.71 miles per hour. Twelve place was nobody. Made that up. I put twelve for twelve for twelve. So uh, my mistake. I wonder why I couldn't find one in there. Quickly again then sixteen, eighty one, seven, sixty five, forty six, five, thirty seven, fifty five, one five five, ninety nine and twenty seven. One minute twenty seven point two four seconds and fifty point seven one miles per hour. Oh, here they come again then upright solos this time. Let's Roger. Roger got the bit between his teeth. He powers away from the rest of them. Look at the lead he's got already on this first lap. As he comes round that next turn. 58, Bill Roger. From two, Adrian Hart. On Michael Tucker. From Rob Snow. And Brian Cornelius. He's getting amongst it today, isn't he? With two 350cc machines here. One for the uprights and one for the uh, modern day stuff. Phil Roger leads. On the west side. From Adrian Hart on the cross. And Brian Cornelius. Roy Hazel and Stuart Allen. Well, that's the way it's going to be now. And John Shortycock. Last lap flag is out and Phil Roger is going for it. On that west lane. Round the last turn then for the last time. One last big twist of the throttle and sideways action from Phil Roger as he takes that checkered flag. He'll be happy with that one. Rob Snow moves up to second. Adrian Harden drops the third. Ron Cornelius is in fourth. Then Roy Hazen and Michael Snucky. Stuart Allen. Ryan Waterfield and John Shortycock. The official result in a moment. A win there for one, number 58, Phil Roger. In the second place, number 189, Rob Snow. In third place, it was number two, Adrian Harden. Fourth place, number 48, Brian Cornelius. Fifth place, number 364, Roy Hazelman. Sixth place, 141, Michael Tucky. Seventh place, 43, Stuart Allen. Eighth place, 82, Graham Waterfield. And in ninth place, number 67, John Shortycott. No other finishes, the winner's time was 1 minute 39.44 seconds, a speed of 44.49 miles per hour. On the line there, are they? And away they go again. More on the upright solos, and what a course you can see there first. Rick Humphries is in second place at the moment, having a fight with Les Rowland. Looks like Michael Peters is trying to go around the outside. Les Rowland sneaks through on the inside. Les Rowland goes up into second place at this moment in time. Around they come then. It is Robin Pilcher that's going for it. Down we go with, uh, I think that was James Peters. Les Rowland in second, Rick Humphries in third. Somebody else having to go there in that fourth place, trying to come through to third. All action track here this afternoon. James Peters is up and OK. Robin Pilcher. Way in the lead from Les Rowland. From Mark Sorteen. With the R Barbie. Having a good ride here in this one. Then Rick Humphries. Then Chris Sindol. Then Keith Webb. Last lap, flag is out, it's 174, Robin Belcher leading this one. Bob Les Rogan, R. Martin, Rick Humphries, Chris Sindol, Keith Webb, Kevin Taylor, Gordon Nashford, Sean Smith, Kevin Beer and Walter Neen. Shepard flag out, Robin Belcher, the council went for him. They are the battlers. Second place going to Les Rowland from R. Bartlett. From Christian Knoll, Rick Humphries, Keith Crasher-Webb. 
Kevin Taylor, Gordon Ashworth, Sean Smith and Kevin Beer. Race 9, the upside, upright solos is a win for number 174, Robin Pilcher. Second place to number 62, Les Rowland. Third place to number 14, R. Bartlett. Fourth place to number 31, Chris Sindol. Fifth place to number, one, uh, to number 27, Rick Humphries. Sixth place to number 52, Keith Webb. Seventh place to 126, Kevin Taylor. Eighth place, 99, Gordon Ashford. Ninth place, number 212, Sean Smith. And 10th place, 551, Kevin Beer. The winner's time, 1 minute 33.35 seconds. An average speed of 47.39 miles per hour. Quickly then, from the top, 174, 62, 14, 31, 27, 52, 126, 99, 212, 551. A time of 1 minute 33.35 seconds and a speed of 47.39 miles per hour. 500 cc sidecars again. Five runners in this one. Sun on the rear outfit, they're battling it between now to go down that straight. Into the pitch turn. Keith Richards and Gareth Bemister giving it more four, hoping to hold off the challenge. Mike Reed is in second place. And Jim Phillips, that's Steve Jones. And Joe Dahl, Mick Prowse. And number 216. From those three boys in second and third place, and the battle is on there between those two. Round by the pitch turn, last that flag is out. Can Keith Richards hold on to it? Son is pressing hard in third place, trying to come on terms with his father there. They're both catching Keith Richards up on this last lap. Will they go past him like a sandwich or will they stay in second and third? Will they change amongst themselves? Anything can happen on the last turn. Looks like it could happen as one goes to the outside, one goes to the inside on Keith Richards, but Keith Richards is holding on to it. Wayne Reed gets the second, Mike Reed gets the third. Then Jim Phillips. The official result was a win for number 143, Keith Richards and Gareth Bemister. Second place was number 56, Wayne Reed and Clive Preston. Third place, and hard pressed as well, was 57, Mike Reed and Mark Thorpe. In fourth place, number 24, Tim Phillips and Steve James. And in fifth place, number 77, Joe Dart and Mick Browse. And in sixth place, number 216, Chris Knight and M. Randalls. No other finishes there, all six completing. A winner's time of 131.64 seconds, a speed of 48.28 miles per hour. Right hand side cars over the other side of the way then. Down the first straight they go, looks like Dave Steele and Ian Wild making it to the front first. Dave Steer, Ian Wilde, in the second meeting this year. Second meeting this year, because Ian's been on with Rob Wilson. But they're uh, galloping away with this one. Down the back straight they go, pulling clear of the rest of the field. Dave Steer and Ian Wilde. From Paul Whiteman and Steve Williams. Dave Steer in the chair. Right, 
Graham and uh, Dave Williams, Neil Owen, and Paul Stoneman, Lewis Cook, and Rob Hargraves. And Paul Phillips in then uh, and Simon Beanie in second place. In for number 17, Dave Stewart and Ian Whale. In second place, it was 183, Ian Leomis and uh, Simon Beanie. In third place, number 92, Paul Whitelow and Kev Jones. Fourth place, number four, Neil Owen and Dylan Davis. And in fifth place, number 748, Lewis Cook and Rob Hargrave. The winner's time, 1 minute 17.86 seconds, a speed of 50.16 miles per hour. From the top, 17, 183, 92, 4 and 748. 1 minute 17.86 seconds, a speed of 50.16 miles per hour. Right hand side cars again come out of the line. I see Trevor Colvin start this machine there. Off the line they go then, down the straight. And into the first turn. The sign of the blue elfin. I won four. One half is the Mark Sherry comes through on the inside. Mark Sherry picks it up. Trevor Colvin in third. Ray Westbrook in fourth. Mark Sharrock then, down that back straight, making this race his own. Mark Sharrock and Kevin Fuller from Warren Gunfield, Warren and Gavin Partridge, then Trevor Colgan and Mr Saunters, and Ray Westbrook and Tony Heath, bringing up the rear. Sixteen, Mark Sharrock, in the lead then. Brian and Gavin Partridge, then Trevor Colvin. And Mr T Saunters. Sixteen it is, Mark Sharrock that takes the checkered flag. Brian Partridge, Trevor Colvin. And Ray Westbrook. Official result in a jiffy. Race 12, right hand side cars, a win for number 16, Mark Sharrock and Kevin Fuller. Second place, number 514. Ryan and Gavin Partridge. Third place, 99, Trevor Colvin and T Saunters. Fourth place, number 69, Ray Westbrook and Tony Heath. The winner's time was 1 minute 20.93 seconds, a speed of 48.26 miles per hour. From the top, 16, 514, 99, 69, 1 minute 20.93 seconds, a speed of 48.26 miles per hour. And here come the 500cc solos. These are the big ones, chaps, isn't they? And they've got to go down the first turn first. Bruce Jenner clinging onto his back wheel. Dave Rumsey. On the Lewis Denham. On Robin Pilcher. Lapping it up here at Hawley. Lewis Denham, Robin Milcher. Ken Regan. Dave Rumsey goes for I think Dave Rumsey's bike stopped. Lewis Denham picks it up. No, no, Dave Rumsey is still motoring. One hand on the handlebar. Not sure what he's done there. Found that one away, that's for sure. Lewis Denham leads now from Dave Rumsey in second place, from Robin Pilcher. 
Last that flag. Suey center. One lap to go. Brave Rumsey in second place. Then Robin Fulcher. Daniel Burry. S. Reagan. Adrian Harden. Pete Barnaby. And Kevin Beer. There's the checkered flag. 81, Lewis Denham. Picks up his first 500 win of the afternoon. From Dave Rumsey in the second place. From Robin Fulcher. From Daniel Barry. 47, S. Regan. Major in Harden. A big battle going on at the back here. Just going to Kevin Beer from Pete Barnaby. 41, Lewis Denham. Second place was number 10, Dave Rumsey. Third place was number 174, Robin Pilcher. Fourth place was number 68, Daniel Barrick. Fifth place was number 47, S. Reagan. Sixth place was number 2, Adrian Harden. Seventh place was 551, Kevin Beer. Eighth place, number 133, Pete Barnaby. No other finishes. The winner's time, 1 minute 24.49 seconds, a speed of 52.36 miles per hour. From the top, 81, 10, 174, 68. Do that again later, perhaps. Race 14 is underway. Race 14, let's get down to the first turn first. Along with Mark Charles and Martin Sturgeon, those three come out of that turn, all alpha leather and chasing each other. And another man joins in the fray as well. All eyes focused on this lot as they come around that turn then. And Tim Mount and uh, Julian Phipps. Gareth Hickmott now takes up the lead. Mark Giles goes out with trouble. It's Gareth Hickmott now from 169, James Cordray, from Julian Phipps. Tim Mount, Mark Sturgeon, Mark Giles with trouble. Gareth Hickmott holding on to the front line on this one then as he puts that bike sideways around that turn. That Wimbledon Speedway training coming in handy. There goes the last lap bag. Gareth Hickmott the lead. Ron James Corbray. Ron Julian Pitt. Tim Mount. Martin Sturgeon. Bevan Gilbert Jarrett. Mark Giles. Paul Havel. And Rob Snow. And David Wiseman. There's the win for number seven. Gareth Hickmott from 169. James Corcoray, Julian Phipps, Tim Mount, Martin Sturgeon, Bevan Gilbert, Jarrett. Mark Giles. Oh, those two very close together. Win for number seven, Gareth Hickmott. Second place, number 169, James Corthoray. Third place, number 73, Julian Phipps. Fourth place, number 17, Tim Mount. Fifth place, number 15, Martin Sturgeon. Sixth place, number 50, Bevan Gilbert Jarrett. Seventh place, number 26, Mark Giles with problems. Eighth place, number 189, Rob Snow. Ninth place, number 183, uh, sorry, 83, <laughs> 83, Paul Havel. And tenth place, 101, Dave Wiseman. The winner's time is 1 minute, 27.16 seconds, a speed of 50.76 miles per hour. From the top, 7, 169, 73, 17, 15, 50, 26, 189, 83, 101, 1 minute, 27.16 seconds, a speed of 50.76 miles per hour. 250cc solos off the line, and here they come. Paul Simmons streaking down that far straight, and Crystal right there with him. In second place. <laughs> 31, Paul Simmons leading for 82. Crystal in second place, then Nick Bartlett. Running in his sister's machine. Run it in, you want out, she gets it back. 31, Paul Simmons leads. Crystal in second place, then Lee Bartlett in third. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. That half is Paul Simmons, Crystal. 
Lee Barber. Richard Barber. And 26, Mr. Bay and 212, Sean Smith. 28, S. May. Last lap flag. 31, Paul Simmons. One lap to go from victory from 82, Chris Still. Is he just hanging about in the heat? Will he make his presence more felt in the final? Paul Simmons on the Royal Simmons Yamaha. Down the back straight and away. From Chris Still in second place. From Lee Barbett. From Richard Barbett. Round the last turn they come then, a quick change of flags, and there's the checker to win going to 31, Paul Simmons, from 82, Chris Pay. From 65, Lee Bartlett. From 14, Richard Bartlett. 26, Paul May. Race 15 then, race 15, and the win for number 31, Paul Simmons. Second place, number 82, Chris Still. Third place, number 65. Lee Bartlett. Fourth place, number 14, Richard Bartlett. Fifth place, number 26, Paul May. Sixth place, number 212, Sean Smith. Seventh place, number 28, S. May. No other finishes. The winner's time is 1 minute 30.62 seconds, a speed of 48.82 miles per hour. From the top, 31, 82, 65, 14, 26, 212, 28, 1 minute 30.62 seconds, 48.82 miles per hour. Here they come again. Somebody's got a little whoopsie on the start line. And so the race continuing. Flat out down that back straight, which is like Lee Pittman that leads it. From John Pilcher in second place. Winding on the throttles then, Lee Pittman it is. From John Pilcher. From Kevin Ball. And Kevin Taylor. And bringing up the rear, number five, A. Millen from Tunbridge. One then, Lee Pittman and half distance from Tom Pilcher. Kevin Ball, Kevin Taylor. Making it easy for the lap scorers here as they start to lap the tail enders. That will start to confuse us. Lee Pittman then, well clear of the rest of the field. On the last lap now. Number five is a lap in arrears. 49, John Pilcher, then 198, Kevin Ball, and then Kevin Taylor. All of those safely past the tail ender, having probably his first ride ever this afternoon. Here at Hawley, a day he'll remember for the rest of his life. Round they come then. 201. Lee Pittman. John Pilcher throws it away on the last turn. Kevin Ball comes through, Kevin Taylor comes through. Now the battle to see who gets lapped here then, look at this. John Pelcher comes home from Avonon. Number 201, Lee Pittman. Second place, number 198, Kevin Ball. Third place, number 126, Kevin Taylor. Fourth place, number 49, John Pelcher. Fifth place, number five, Aimelin. No other finishes. The winner's time, 1 minute 30 point two, but, sorry, 1 minute 34, 1 minute 34.20 seconds, a speed of 46.96 miles per hour. From the top, 201, 198, 126, 49, and 5, 1 minute 34.20 seconds, 36.96 miles per hour. Grass are doing a grand job as always, to get our leisure here, waiting to serve you, Bob's videos. We have the catering unit, and of course, the ice cream van, and a bar. You are well looked after this afternoon, spoiled rotten, I reckon. Race 17, the left-hand side cars, revs rise, tapes fly, and here they come. 
Graham Hilton getting the best of the start. Graham Hilton and Colin Clark go down to the first third first. Paul Grayson in second place. Followed by Chris Downs and Mike Downs bringing up the rear. More outfits go in this one. Tony Pentafold, unfortunately, a non starter. Paul Grace and Chris Berry, Chris Downs and Steve Dowling, Mike Downs and Nathan Brown. That all remaining unchanged and the Godden V twin leads to Puma. And it's another Gordon V twin and a Honda Fireblade bringing up the rear. The mighty Japanese Honda in last place. Beaten by this British machinery. England still roars. Hang on, have we gone back to 1937 or something? Hang on, let me just, let me just bang me head and wake myself up. The Gordon V twin on his last lap now from Graham Elton and Colin Park. Then the Puma in second place, another Gordon Beach went in third, and Honda Fireblade bringing up the rear. Well, it is 100 cc's down, isn't it? Check it back time, Graham Two rides and two wins. Paul Grayson in second place, Chris Downs in third. Mike Downs in fourth. In the race 17, the left-hand side cars, a win for number 151, Graham Hilton and Colin Clark. In second place, it was number 8, Paul Grayson and Chris Berwick. In third place, it was number 81, Chris Downs and Steve Dowling. And in fourth place, number 114, Mike Downs and Nathan Brown. No other finishes. The winner's time was 1 minute 41.26 seconds, a speed of 43.69 miles per hour. Previous winner and uh, 142 Terry Nicholas. Second last time out. Let's see what happens this time. Here they come, flat out off the start. Terry Nicholas has got the best of it. Clive Holland goes with him. Clive Holland is something. As close as he goes to the first turn, you know. Terry Nicholas has just got the best of it. Steve Penfold moves up in the second. Clive Holland in third and Kevin Penfold bringing up the rear. Here they come. 142, Terry Nicholas and Michael Rainey. And we're off in then Clive Holland and Steve Fish. And then Kevin Taylor. Sorry, Kevin Taylor. Kevin Benfold and B Taylor bringing up the rear. The man from Wales on his own today as the Welsh crew is the from 27, Clive Holland and Steve Fish and Kevin Penfold, Lee Taylor bringing up the rear. So our left hand Welshman taking that left hand. Got a very wide line there, throwing up the loose at me. Flying the flag brilliantly at the moment for Wales. Out the corner they come. There's the chequered flag. Michael Raymond take the first win. Their first win of the afternoon. Billy Penfold and Robin. Live Holland and Steve Fish. Kevin Penfold and B Taylor bringing up the rear. Cars a win for number 142. Terry Nicholas and Michael Raymond. In second place, number 123. Billy Penfold and Will Offin. In third place was number 27. Five Holland and Steve Fish. And in fourth place, number two, Kevin Penfold and B. Taylor. No other finishes. The winner's time was 1 minute 36.82 seconds. An average speed of 45.69 miles per hour. From the top. 142, 123, 27, 2. 1 minute 36.82 seconds, 45.69 miles per hour.
come in from 50 feet inside. Huh? And then he's going to be able to take a break. Here's the position. 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 Look at those front four, they put all their four up in a transit bar as they come out of that corner and Lewis Stenham makes his move. Lewis Stenham coming through on the inside, Lewis Stenham gets his front wheel in front. David Mears says you're not having it. Bob Goldman says you're definitely not having it. And Lewis Stenham says you're And the road they go up in there. And he's going to go up in there. leading down that straight. Bob Goldman going after him. Richard Smith saying, let me in there somewhere, boys, and Dave Mears has got a little step behind now in fourth place. Lewis Denham going for it. Bob Goldman chasing after him. Dave Mears rushing in to Surai. Then the Brian Gordon. Adrian Phipps, Matt Hetherington, Michael Peters. Oh, now they come again. This time it's the last lap flag. And 81, Lewis Denham was not in there. Bob Goldman both having a first in their first ride. And they can't touch Lewis Denham in this one. Lewis Denham is absolutely flying. As they come up for the black flag. Look at that. Look at that one. Oh, that was close. Was he Bob Goldman? Richard Smith as well. And then Dave Mears. Matt Hedrington, Brian Cornelius, Adrian Phipps, Michael Peters. Shane Hooper. And Paul Morphy. Race 19, the 350cc solos, a cracking win there, and he knew he'd done it. Number 81, Lewis Denham. Second place, number 33, Richard Smith. Third place, number 16, Bob Donwin. Fourth place, number 139, David Mears. Fifth place, number 6, Steve Higgins. Sixth place, number 5, Matt Etherington. Seventh place, number 48, Brian Cornelius. Eighth place, number 76, Adrian Phipps. Ninth place, number 37, Michael Peters. Tenth place, number 155, Shane Hooper. And eleventh place, number 55, Paul Morphy. And here they come again. Race 20. You did not have to that, did it? Karasik Mock goes through on the inside. Kevin Buck is fighting there as well. Chris Pay makes it back in onto the front line. Chris Pay leading this one. Gareth Hickmott in second place goes after him. Puts the power on early. Comes through on the inside. Makes it his. As he comes out of that turn, Chris Pay goes with him. But it's Gareth Hickmott. Kevin Buck. Bob Spencer Harrison. Bob Walker. Rick Humphreys. They're all in there somewhere. Gareth Hickmott extends his lead on the front line as he comes around that turn on the Ivan Barnes tune, Goggle. Chris Pay in second place, then Kevin Buck, Spencer Harrison, Gordon Walker, John Springer, Rick Humphrey, Gordon Ashford and Rob Caston. Last flag out and ready. Number seven, Gareth Hickmott extending his lead as he comes down there now. Kevin Buck having to go with Chris Pye on this the last lap. Kevin Buck knows this now or never. Has Chris Pye got the energy and stamina left to do it? Up the back straight they go. Into the last turn for the last time. It's Gareth Hickmott squirting that throttle on hard. He means business in this one. As he comes across the line there, he takes that second flag. Gareth Hickmott gets the win. Kevin Buck takes the second. Chris Pye a good third. Spencer Harrison, Gordon Walker. John Springer. Rick Humphries. Gordon Ashford. A win for number seven, Gareth Hickmott. Second place to number four, Kevin Buck. Third place to number 59, Chris Pay. Fourth place to number 46, Spencer Harrison. Fifth place to 84, Gordon Walker. 6th place 184 John Springer, 7th place 27 Rick Humphries and 8th place 99 Gordon Ashford. No other finishes, the winner's time 1 minute 28.75 seconds, the speed of 49.85 miles per hour. Just got that out and here we go again, the upright solos, race 21.
Well, Roger is in third place. He had a win the first time out, and he's going for it in third place at the moment. But Robin Pelch has walked away with this one. He also had a win first time out, so the battle of those two winners are it is on at the moment. It's one for Robin Pelch. Fourteen, which is Martin in second. Followed by Phil Rogers and Ned Rogan, James Peters, Michael Tuffy, Stuart Allen. And the race goes on. One seven four, Robin Torture at half distance. Corner there. Out of the running in this one. The other riders sneak up on the inside. Here comes Robin Pilcher. He takes that last lap flag. He's got it all under control here this afternoon. It's Robin Pilcher from Richard Barpin. There's Michael Tucking. Stuart Allen. Ryan Waterfield. 551 Kevin Beer. That's it, Gordon Ace without two races running. That's not fair, is it? There goes the checkered flag. 174. Ryan Borcher takes it. A win for him from James Peters in second place. Then there's Roland. Michael Tucking. Kevin Beer, Gordon Ashford. What's he doing? Did he come round again? Oh, he dropped it, did he? I missed that then. Robin Pelcher, second place, 45. James Peters, third place, number 62. Les Rowland, fourth place, number 141. Michael Tucky, fifth place, number 43. Stuart Allen, sixth place, 82. Greg, uh, Graham Waterfield. 7th place, number 551, Kevin Beer. 8th place, number 99, Gordon Ashford. And 9th place, number 14, Richard Barbett. Now the finishes, the winner's time was 1 minute 30.63 seconds, an average speed of 48.81 miles per hour. Quickly if I can, 174, 45, 62, 141, 43, 82, 551, 99 and 14, 1 minute 30.63, 48.81, here come the other upright solos. A nice even break as they come down the first straight. Who's it going to be? Rob Snowden's going to go. Maybe a half goes with him. And then through the knee. And keeps crashing there. All on the front line together. Keith Webb up from fourth into third place. Can he hold on to that? Chris Sindol right there behind him. Walter Neem having a go at him as well. But on the front line, it is Rob Snow. Chases after Adrian Hart. Found that pitch turn then. One eight nine it is. Rob Snow stirred by Adrian Hart. Keith Webb in third. Then Chris Sindel in fourth. Then Roy Hogan on the BSI. Then Kevin Taylor. Then John Shortstop. Then the name. Rick Humphreys. Brian Cornelius. And Sean Smith. Bring up the rear, Ian Bridgman. On another BSI. 189, then Rob Snow. From Adrian Hart, Chris Sindel has overtaken Keith Webb. Chris Snow is having a go at him as well. Into the last turn, then, for the last time. Rob Snow about to uh, lap Ian Bridgman, or is he? Not quite sure. I think he just about did that. There's a win for him. Second for Adrian Hart. Third for Sindel. Third for Keith Webster. Kevin Snow, the sixth for Roy Hazlitt. Then John Shortycock. Walter Neem. Rick Humphreys. Then Chris Sindel. 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 Then Chris 5th place, number 126, Kevin Taylor. 6th place, number 364, Roy Hazelden. 7th place, number 67, John Shortycott. 8th place, number 72, Walter Neem. 9th place, 27, Rick Humphreys. 10th place, 48, Brian Cornelius. And 11th place, 212, uh, Sean Smith. 
and in 11th place, number 117, Ian Bridgman. The winner's time is 1 minute 36.84 seconds, a speed of 45.68 miles per hour. From the top, 189, 2, 31, 52, 126, 364, 67, 72, 27, 48, 212, and 117. 1 minute 36.84 seconds, 45.68 miles per hour. Wayne Reed goes into the first team first problems for Raz Palmer and Danny Holgan not having a very good day today. They retire onto the centre green. Bad luck for those two boys. Always hard tries and... Uh, Clive Woodis won his earlier race. I do believe that uh, Wayne Reed has had two races. Yeah. So first in one and a second in the other. <laughs> then uh, Keith Richards. So had a win earlier on. He's battling away in third at the moment. Joe Dart, Tim Phillips having a go at the back of the pack. One lap to go from Keith Richards. From Tim Phillips and Joe Dart. Wayne Reed and Clive Preston. Wayne Reed. Clive Reed and Richard Webb in second. Keith Richards and Gareth Grimace are in third. Then it's Jim Phillips. And Steve James. And Joe Dart McProwse bringing up the rear. For race 23, the 500cc sidecars. A win there for number 56. Wayne Reed and Clive Preston. In second place, number one, Clive Willis and Richard Webb. In third place, number one, four, three, Keith Richards and Gareth Bemister. Fourth place, number 24, Tim Phillips and Steve James. Fifth place, number 77, Joe Dart and Mick Prowse. No sixth finisher. The winner's time, 1 minute 29.15 seconds, a speed of 49.63 miles per hour. Trevor Colvin and Mr Saunters. And away they go. Four outfits go in this one. Dave Steer, taking the place of Andy Robson. <laughs> of Trevor Colvin and T Saunters. Mark Sharrock and Kevin Fuller bringing up the rear. Second place. Bruce Sporting of Steve Smith led the passenger for the afternoon. You know what happens with these passengers sometimes. Boast here. One lap to go. And Mark Sharak. Round they come then, the checkered flag is out, it's 17, Dave Steer, Andy and Wayne Moses. From 92, Paul Wyckham and Dave Williams in second. Then Trevor Colvin and T Saunters and uh, Mark Sharrock and Kevin Fuller bringing up the rear. The cracking win there for our additional rider, number 17, Dave Steer and Ian Whale. In second place was number 92, Paul Wyckham and Dave Williams. In third place was 99, Trevor Colvin and T Saunters. And in fourth place was number 16, Mark Sharrock and Kevin Fuller. The winner's time was 1 minute 15.94 seconds, an average speed of 51.43 miles per hour. Race 25, the right-hand side cars. Neil Owen and Phil Stoneman. 
Ray Westbrook and Tony Heath. Ryan and Gavin Partridge. Lewis Cook and Rob Hargrave. And I assume 183 Ian the Amos and Simon Beanie. Lewis Cook takes to the front in this one then. The man from Pembury cometh. He's got a bit wide in the Amos has gone through on the inside. Second position at the moment. Ryan Partridge having a good day here, holding on to third at the moment. That is Neil Owen. Ryan and Gavin Partridge lose the space there as they go back into the uh, fourth spot. Neil Owen chases after Lewis Cook. We have one eight three. Lewis Cook and Rob Hargraves in second. Round the turn then, last lap flag in their sights, it's Ian the Amos and uh, Simon Beanie from the Lewis Cook and Rob Hargraves from the Ray Westbrook and Tony Heath and uh, 514. Ryan and Gavin Partridge. Round the last turn for the last time, there's the chequer flag. Ian the Amos and Paul Phillips take it and Simon uh, Beanie take it. Well, Lewis Cook and Rob Hargrave, Neil Owen and Phil Stoneman. Ray Westbrook and Tony Heath. Ryan and Gavin Partridge. The winner's time was 1 minute 16.59 seconds, a speed of 50.99 miles per hour. From the top, 183, 748, 4, 69, 514, 1 minute 16.59 seconds, a speed of 50.99 miles per hour. Ivan and CC Solo is now on the line. Look out for Lewis Jenham, Gareth Hickmott, Dave Rums. It all going well this afternoon, and they're all in this one. Mark Charles is there as well, and Mark Charles pushing to the front. Daniel Berry trying to go around the outside. Lewis Jenham coming through on the inside of uh, Daniel Berry and chasing after Mark Charles with Gareth Hickmott in third place. Tim Mount in fourth, then Daniel Berry. Paul Havel. Can't see a Dave Rumsey, I think we've lost him in this event. 26, Mark Charles, the lady one, Lewis, 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 Ryan through on the inside. Lewis Denham goes wide, Mark Charles goes after him. Lewis Denham leading it, Mark Charles in second place, then Gareth Hickmott, then Tim Mount, Daniel Berwick. And the race continues, and the young man at his 16th race. 81, Lewis Denham flying, ahead of Mark Charles, ahead of Gareth Hickmott, ahead of 17, that's Jim Mount, then Daniel Berwick, then Rob Snow, Paul Havel, and David Wiseman. Last lap to make it down for Lewis Denham, one more lap to go for him. Mark Charles holding on to that second, Gareth Hickmott in third. Daniel Berry, Rob Stone, and Paul Hamill. Round the last turn, for the last time, lapping our tail end. That's 81, Lewis Denham finishing with another wheelie. Another cracking win for him here this afternoon. In North 101, David Wise, I'm afraid he's a lap in arrears. Mark Giles takes second, Gareth Hickmott takes third. Then Tim Mount, Daniel Berry, Rob Snow, and Paul Hamill. Race 26 to 5 minutes CC solos is a winner for number 81, Lewis Denham. Second place to number 26, Mark Charles. Third place to number 7, Gareth Hickmott. Fourth place to number 17, Tim Mount. Fifth place to 68, Daniel Barrick. Sixth place to 189, Rob Snow. Seventh place to 83, Paul Havel. And eighth place to 101, Dave Wiseman. Now the finishes. The winner's time was 1 minute 22.02 seconds, a speed of 53.94 miles per hour. They are under starters orders. And here they come, down the fast straight. Who's it going to be? James Cook by Oakley and Harden and Julian Fitz who will be down there at the same time. And Martin Sturgeon goes through on the inside. Martin Sturgeon picks up the second as he comes out of that turn and James Cook is in front. Julian Fitz is having a go now. 
for that second place. And Bevan Gilbert Jarrett. Then Robin Pilcher. Round they come again then. Making it up fly. Nice. James Corporate. Austin Martin Surgeon taking that second place again off of uh, Julian Phipps. And Julian Phipps comes back with a vengeance. Snatches it back again. The battle is on there for that second and third spot. Meanwhile, about the turn they come. And it is 169. James Corporate with just one lap to go. Julian Phipps in second. Martin Surgeon in third. Then we've got 47. Steve Reagan from uh, Robin Pilcher. Kevin Gilbert Jarrett and Adrian Hart, Kevin Beer and Pete Barnaby. Checkered flag is out. 169, James Gordray takes it. And William Phipps in second, Martin Sturgeon in third. Then Robin Pilcher, Kevin Gilbert Jarrett. 500cc solos, a win there for number 169, James Cawthoray. Second place, number 73, Julian Phipps. Third place, to number 15, Martin Sturgeon. And fourth place, number 174, Robin Pilcher. Fifth place, number 50, Bevan Gilbert Jarrett. Sixth place, number 47, Steve, Steve Reagan. Seventh place, to number two, Adrian Harden. Eighth place, to 551, Kevin Beer. And ninth place, to 133, Pete Barnaby. Now the finishers, the winner's time, 1 minute 26.17 seconds, a speed of 51.34 miles per hour. Adults only six pounds admission fee. 250cc solos on the line and here they come, flat out down the first straight. Who's it going to be? We are looking for Lee Bartlett to come to the front. From the equipment, from Richard Bartlett. From Mr May and John Pilcher and A. Millen bringing up the rear. Round the pitch turn then. High, wide and handsome, 65. Lee Bartlett leads this one. One, two, and one, Lee Pittman. The battle of the Lees is on again. Then it's Richard Bartlett, John Pilcher. Down the back straight. The old witch got the raffle tickets again. Oh, so she has. The old witch coming around with the raffle tickets. Round they come then, Lee Bartlett. Got the bit between his seat this afternoon on his 250cc machine. From 201, Lee Pittman, from Richard Barton, from John Pilcher, from Mr May. Paul May. And then A. Millen bringing up the rear. What if he's in a relation to Phil and Shanks Millen, who wrote in the 70s? Last lap play is there for Lee Barton, Lee Pittman having a ding-dong battle. What's going to happen now? On the last lap they go, has Lee Pittman got anything up his sleeve? Can Lee Barton hold on to it? Lee Barton is gaining up that back straight as they come into the last turn. Has he got enough momentum to do with the catch-up with A. Millen, the tail ender? Will he get in the way? What's going to happen here? There goes the checkered flag. Lee Barton takes it from Lee Pittman in second. With an old witch from the Eagle Tower, such as Emmy Smith. Race 29, the 250cc solos. Chris Steele, both are in the front. Paul Simmons leading it now from Chris Still. Chris Still in second place and pushing hard. He's going for it. He's going on the outside. He's showing the colours early in this one. He means business, but Paul Simmons on the right to meet Julie Yamaha. He leads the race from Chris Still in second place. Then Kevin Moon, Kevin Taylor and Sean Smith. And uh, Mr S May bringing up the rear. Round the come then, 31, Paul Simmons. 82, Chris Still. Kevin Ball. Kevin 
Taylor, Sean Smith, and Mr. S. May. The last out play comes out for 31, Paul Simmons. This is He's looking quite unstoppable. He's on the top of the point chart for the South East Ascendant 250cc speed shield as well, as he goes round. Round the last turn, for the last time, a nice dip up the inside here and across the finish line, a win for Paul Simmons. From Crystal in second place. Race 28, a win for 65, Lee Bartlett. Second place, 201, Lee Pittman. Third place, number 14, Richard Bartlett. Fourth place, number 49, John Pilcher. Fifth place, number 26, Paul May. And in sixth place, number 5, A. Millen. No seventh finisher. The winner's time is 1 minute 33.96 seconds, a speed of 47.08 miles per hour. And Billy Penfold comes through on the inside. Billy Penfold makes up the gap. He goes down the back straight now. Well clear of Paul Grayson. And Chris Berry. We've lost Kevin Penfold. He's uh, stopped there on the centre green. So we're down to a two-horse race. But Billy Penfold. And Yamaha. On the pupa. Probably realising that they're in second place and a guaranteed second. There's not a lot of point in blowing that motor now, he needs to save that for the final. So the Japanese strike back with the Yamaha, out in front. Last that flag, the bit of Van Bolden will up in. From Paul Grayson. And Chris Berwick. Checker flag comes out, Billy Panfold, and Will Oppen. A win there for number one, two, three, Billy Panfold and Will Oppen, and in second place is number eight, Paul Grayson and Chris Berry. Now the finishers, the winner's time is 1 minute 36.84 seconds, a speed of 45.68 miles per hour. Before I can do any more, here comes race 31, the left hand side comes. Down to the first turn first. Michael Owens wants to shoot there in second place. Then Chris Downs and Steve Dowling. And Terry Nicholson, Michael Raymond, who totally missed the start, have come up through from fifth up to third place now. They're chasing after Clive Holland. Graham Hilton's on the front line. He's done Clive already, he's on the back wheel of Graham Hilton as they come out of that turn. It's Graham Hilton from Terry Nicholas, from Clive Holland. Terry Nicholas goes through on the inside. Flying the world flag, Graham Hilton fights back on the outside. From 81, Chris Downs on the Gordon V Twin. From Mick Downs on the Honda Fireblade. Round they come then. One four two. Terry Nicholas from one five one. Graham Hilton from Clive Cullen. Chris Downs. Sorry, uh, Chris and Downs. Steve Dowling and Mike Downs and Nathan Brown bringing up the rear. There's the checkered flag. Brown the last are cruising slowly. All the time in the world, all the sudden the bubble comes on. And so it is Michael Raymond to the win. A one by one Graham Hill and Colin Clark. Five on and Steve Fish. Chris Downs and Steve Dowling. Mike Downs and Nathan Brown.
Dillon and Michael Raymond in second place, number 151, Graham Hilton and Colin Clark. Third place, 27, Clive Rommel and Steve Fish. Fourth place, 81, Chris Downs and Steve Dowling. Fifth place, number 114, Mike Downs and Nathan Brown. The winner's time, 1 minute 39.29 seconds, the speed of 44.56 miles per hour. Like to tell you that Neil, Do Neil Owen's daughter, Tara, has come in round with a sponsorship form, raising funds for terminally ill children with cancer. Please support that as well as you can. Tara, Owen, Neil Owen's daughter, doing a grand job for terminally ill cancer children. Please get your name on there and come up with a few shillings. Please hit a 353 to Steve Higgins is in there. Richard Smith is in there. Gordon Wilbur's in there. They come down that straight. All systems go here. Matt Edrington winding on the song, play on the power. He's coming up up here for a John Springer, Drew Mason, and Rob Gester. Kevin Buck gets through, he goes fast on that turn, he comes around that corner very fast indeed, he's got it all locked up sideways, he's coming forwards, it's four, Kevin Buck, five, Matt Edrington, Ron Edrington, John Springer, Rick Humphrey, Drew Mason, and Rob Gester. And side cars, if you'd like they want to go in quickly, 142, 151, 27, 81, 114, 139.29, 44.56. Thank you. 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 Not the bit between his teeth, he's powering on forwards. Lewis Denham is chasing him, but uh, not the bit between his teeth. And one by five. Shake it over. Only one, Lewis Denham. CC Solos, a win for number 81. Lewis Denham, second place, number 139. David Mears, third place, number 16. Bob Dolman, fourth place, number 7. Gareth Hickmott, fifth place, number 65. Lee Bartlett, sixth place, number 159. What a 159. 155, that is Shane Hooper. Seventh place, number 76. Adrian Phipps, 8th place, number 37. Michael Peters, 
No other finishers. The winner's time is 1 minute 24.91 seconds and 52.10 miles per hour. That's 81, 139, 16, 7, 65, 155, 76, 37. 1 minute 24.91, 52.1 miles per hour. The upright solos are out to do battle. Adrian Harden, Richard Barbett, Rick Humphries, Brian Cornelius, Keith Webb, Phil Roger, Graham Waterfield, Gordon Ashwood, Ian Bridgman, Rob Snow and Roy Hazelden. That's the line-up for race 34, that's a good number, 34. Rebs rise. Tapes fly and here they come. Flat down down the first place. We're going to get to the rest of the game. Got a win first time out. Lost a few points in the second one, but he's going for gold here now. Humphries makes it up into the front line. Eric Cobb smacked the uh, commentator when he took it in the wrong direction. Rick Humphries out in front. Could be the first win of his career if he can hold on to this one. It's Rick Humphries that goes for it. And Graham Waterfield battling it out for second place there. Rick Humphries pulling away from the rest of the field now. Brian Humphries on the infield. Brian Cornelius on the infield. Just testing. Oh, we're doing some business in the past. We've got 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 some business in the past. As uh, Richard Bartlett manages to uh, get onto his knees and onto his feet, obviously trapped under his machine there, and the right race is being stopped in the interest of safety. So that race stopped in the interest of safety, and uh, the result should be given at the end of the third lap. Well, at the end of the second leg, 189, Rob Snow was on 26 points. Number two, Adrian Harden, and 62, Les Rowland, on 22 points apiece. Number 31, Chris Sindel was on nine points. And uh, numbers 52 and 141, Keith Webb and Michael Tucky were on 16 points each. Second place, Ron Les Rowland in third, then Wolf and Ian in fourth. Check it, Mike. 
Second place, number 141, Michael Tucky. Third place, number 62, Les Rowland. Fourth place to 45, Michael Baird, wrong one, James Peters. Fifth place to 126, Kevin Taylor. Sixth place to 43, Stuart Allen. Seventh place to number 72, Walter Neem. Eighth place, number 551, Kevin Beer. Ninth place to number 67, John Shortycott. Tenth place, number 212, Sean Smith. Now the finishes, the winner's time is 1 minute 30.75 seconds, a speed of 48.75 miles per hour. Race 35 again, then 174, 141, 62, 45, 126, 43, 72, 551, 67, 212. Here comes the final going in this one, one still pushing. And they're underway. Number one, Clive Woodison, Richard Robidison, leads down their back straight. Raz Palmer and Danny Hogg not had the best of days so far. They could do with some extra points from this one. They're holding on to second place at the moment. And they're pushing on. Number two, Post one three, by the way. And fourth place is two one six. Tim Phillips and Steve James. That's wrong as well, but never mind. When you have the river, it's when he bought him the clips and Steve James. The other one is two months to one. Oh, Clive Edison, Richard Weber just holding on to this, but there's a big battle on the second and third places, and they both want to take that first. They go for it in fine style down the back straight. This is International Pilot CC Psycho Racing at its best on the front line there. Now they come around that third, the last lap flag goes out. One lap left in this epic battle is number one, Clive Edison, Richard Weber. Two lap battles remaining. Clive Edison, Richard Weber, 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 Relegated to third place as they come down that back straight. Those are the two at the tail end now having their own private ding dong battle. As the second flag changes over, there it goes. It's a win for number one. Prior to the two, Mike Reed and Mark Thorpe from 71. Red Palmer and Danny Hogg finishing in third place. It's a win for number one, Clive Willis and Richard Webb. In second place is number 57, Mike Reed and Mark Thorpe. Third place, number 71, Raz Palmer and Danny Hogg. Fourth place, number 24, Tim Phillips and Steve James. And in fifth place, number two, one, the six. Chris Knight and Mike Randalls. No sixth finisher. The winner's time is 1 minute 30.68 seconds, a speed of 48.79 miles per hour. Bells and CC, right-hand chariots. We look for Neil Owen and Phil Stoneman. Mark Sharrock and Kev Fuller. Ian, the aim is and Simon Beanie. Ryan and Gavin Partridge. I'm sure we've got one additional runner there that I can't... Uh, another additional runner there that I can't think of at the moment. Away they go, down the straight. Everyone should be Dave Steer and Ian Whale. And it certainly looks like Dave Steer and Ian Wales are going to get to the first turn first. They squared that front line and the end game is going to be right behind him. Then Mark Sharrack and Kevin Fuller. And Ryan and Kevin Partridge bringing up the rear. All action on the front line as Dave Steer actually pulls a few yards clear on that pit turn and gets his wheels in line down the straight earlier and he's away. Sideways around that turn at the moment now, trying to get the back wheels back into the line. And Simon Beanie. And it's Mark Sharrock and Kev Fuller. And it's Neil Owen and Phil Stoneman. There's the last lap flag. Robbie and the Amos from Mark Sharrock, Neil Owen. And Ryan Partridge.
Then the last turn, through the last time, 17 breaks the end. Andy and Wilde, make that check and play. And Simon Beeney, from Mark Jarrett, Joe Fuller, Neil Owen, and Phil Stoneman. James Steele and Ian Wilde, second place to Ian the Amis, and Simon Beeney, number 183, and third place was number 16, Mark Shark and Kev Fuller. Fourth place was number four, Neil Owen and Phil Stoneman. Fifth place, number 514, Ryan and Gavin Partridge. The winner's time was 1 minute 15.73 seconds, a speed of 51.57 miles per hour. That's 17, 183, 16, 4, 514, 1 minute 15.73 seconds, a speed of 51.57. Miles per hour. On the line there to do battle. Should have four outfits. Lewis Cook makes the best of the start. Lewis Cook from Pembury goes down to the first turn first, but uh, Bill Wyckham's got different ideas as Bill Wyckham comes in from the outside. Bill Wyckham. Then Lewis Cook and Rob Hargrave, and then... Uh, Trevor Colvin and T Saunters. And behind him, Ray Westbrook and Tony Heath. Round the turn they come then. Paul White and Kevin. Lewis Cook and Bob Hargrave. Trevor Colvin. And T Saunters, then Ray Westbrook and Tony Heath. They're staying quite well stationed apart. 99, Trevor Colvin. Trying to get a closer look at that Lewis Cook's machine. Lewis Cook's machine. Lewis Cook's machine. Lewis Cook throws his sideways into the next turn and uh, Trevor Colvin goes after him. On the last lap they are. Into the last turn for the last time. Nice and clear. It's a clear, clean cut win for 92. All right, man. And... Uh, and Ray Westbrook and Tony Heath. A win there for number 92. The Whiteham and Dave Williams. In second place, number 748, Lewis Cook and Rob Hargrave. In third place, number 99, for Whiteham and Dave Williams. In fourth place, number 69, Ray Westbrook and Tony Heath. The winner's time was 1 minute 16.75 seconds, a speed of 50.89 miles per hour. From the top, 92, 748, 99, 69, 1 minute 16.75 seconds, 50.89 miles per hour. Here they come again then, race 39. He powers it on down that straight, he's really going for it, he's got about 10 bikes length clear in the lead already, and away he goes. 81. And the race continues. Lewis Denham, 16 years of age, showing on the way forward. Look at that front wheel up in the air. Then it's Darren McBob in second place. Then Julian Phillips. Then Tim Mount. Then Robin Gilbert Jarrett. Last that flag, Lewis Denham, front wheel all over the place. Dives to ease up on this last lap. Ready a time. Garrett is one in second place. Then serves the three Julian Bibb. Then Tim Mount. Then it's over Garrett. Steve Reed. Oh, no, it wasn't William. Shane Regan. Then Lewis Denham. 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 Gilbert Garrett, Shane Regan, Adrian Hart, Rob Snow. 
and then Kevin Beer. 500cc solos, a win there for number 81, Lewis Denham. In second place, it was number 7, Gareth Egmont. Third place, number 73, Julian Phipps. Fourth place, number 17, Tim Mount. Fifth place, number 50, Bevan Gilbert Jarrett. Sixth place, number 47, Shane Regan. Seventh place, number 2, Adrian Harden. Eighth place, number 189, Rob Snow. And ninth place, number 551, Kevin Beer. The winner's time was 1 minute 20, 25, 0.39 seconds, 51.81 miles per hour. And these are the high Big battle going on in the midfield there. Who's that man coming up from third into second? And fast catching up with the man in first place. The man in first place is number 62, uh, the 26, the wrong way around, fast drive. James Cooper, I just say, Martin Murphy, then Larry Burton, and Daniel Berwick, then Paul Havel, and then Pete Barnaby. They're bringing up the rear 101, Dave Wiseman. Up on the front line as James Moore's head goes. Mark Giles goes with it. Mark Giles got a better line around that third. James Moore's rolling. Shane Lyons has been caught to have another go at him, but he comes up along the outside. Can he get there? Mark Giles is hanging on to it at the moment. With James Moore's way in, hot pursuit. Mark Giles, one more lap to go. James Moore's way right there, waiting for a mistake. Then it's Garth Sturgeon, and then it's uh, Robin Bilger. Mark Giles determined not to make that mistake. He's got a little wide there though, but he's still holding on to that advantage. Into the last turn, for the last time. As they catch up with the tail end, the Mark Giles takes the inside line. James Sturgeon gets to the wrong and goes wide, but he comes home for a comfortable second. Martin Sturgeon in third. Robin Bilger in fourth. Then Daniel Berwick. And Paul Havel. And a little fist to the air there was Pete Barnaby beating his sponsored rider Paul Havel, who must be at least half Pete's age. And I can, I can really, really see into what uh, Pete was saying there. To number 26, Mark Giles. Second place, number 169, James Cawthorne. Third place, number 15, Martin Sturgeon. Fourth place, number 174, Robin Pilcher. Fifth place, number 68. Uh, Chris Berwick, sixth place, number 133, three, sorry, Daniel Berwick, Chris's son. Sixth place, number 133, Pete Barnaby. Seventh place, number 83, Paul Havel. And in eighth place, number 101, Dave Wiseman. The winner's time was 1 minute 25.55 seconds, a speed of 51.71 miles per hour. From the top, 26, 169, 15, 174, 68. One three three. Yeah. Off that start, and uh, that's 56. Wayne Reed and Clive Preston in problems there. The red flags are up. Red flags are out. So uh, the race being stopped, as they were still on the racing line. He's limping well, is Wayne, but he's uh, they're pushing the machine off the circuit. Will that be a full start, all riders back in, or uh, if so, that'll need Reed scrutineering. I'll uh, leave that one for you people to sort out. Here we come then, the 500 cc tie car is going to come. Sit down on the first turn first. Wes Palmer and Danny Hogger right in there in second place and pushing hard. And it's 57, Mike Reed and Mark Thorpe. And then Keith Richards and Gareth Barrister. Can he get there? There on the back straight they go, then it is number one, Clive Willis. And Richard Webb. Aiming for victory. Raz Palmer trying to come through on the inside again. Rose Palmer and Danny Hogg. 
Mike Reed and Mark Ford, and then uh, Keith Richards and Garrett Bemister. The front three are very close together. Anything could happen there. And it has as well. Mike Reed comes in. Mike Reed now goes after them. Mike Reed means business as he comes out of that turn and down the back straight. Half a lap left to go now, and it is Clive Willis and Richard Webb. Mike Reed and Mark Thorpe in second place and putting the power on early to come under that tight line on that corner, but it is going. Mike Reed and Mark Thorpe, Bob Rose Palmer and Danny Hawk, and then Keith Richards and Gareth Bemistos. Well done, boys. Nice to see you here at the GTSI. Next solo rider there, Keith Richards and Gareth Bemister going by, doing their lap of honour. So, race 41 was 1, 57, 71, 143, 1 minute 31.54 seconds, a speed of 48.33 miles per hour. Chris Still, 198 Kevin Ball, 126 Kevin Taylor. 49, John Pelcher, 26, Paul May, 212, Sean Smith, and 28, S. May. If you see a number 14 out there, he is the reserve, Richard Bartlett. Race 42, the 250 final coming to the line. Revs rise, under starter's orders, somebody's not happy, Sean Smith touching the tapes I think, he's been pushed back, up go the tapes, here they come, down to the fast turn, who's going to get there, Lee Bartley makes a cracker from the outside, Chris is in second place at the moment and Paul Simmons is in third. Paul Simmons won all three of his seats and he wants to take this one as well and he's cautious through on the inside on the Roy Simmons Yamaha. He's powering it down that straight, well clear of those other two riders. I'm not messing with you, I'm gone out of here. Round the turn he comes. Gets the power on early out of that corner and pulls away from the rest of them. It's 31, Paul Simmons, Paul Chris Sears, Paul Lee Bartlett, Paul Lee Pittman. And John Pelcher, back to the front line and it is Paul Simmons pulling clear of the rest of the field. Crystal is in there in second place. Nobody seems to have an answer to Paul Simmons this afternoon. 31. Paul Simmons. From Lee Bartlett. From Lee Pittman. From Mr. May. Then John Pelcher. Kevin Ball. Kevin Ball and Kevin Taylor. And Sean Smith. Then Mark Ford. Then Richard Webb. Then Paul Simmons. Then Paul Simmons. And number 28 then bringing up the rear. Now comes the last lap flag. Paul Simmons is one lap from victory. Extending his lead further on the speed shield points this afternoon. Paul Simmons leads it. Kristen in second. Then Lee Bartlett. Then Lee Pittman. Then Mr. May. Robin Pilcher. Kevin Taylor. Well, the last turn for the last time. Paul Simmons takes the win. Crystal gets second, Lee Bartlett in third, ignore that other man, he's a lap in arrears, then it's 2.01, Lee Pittman. 26, Mr May, 49, Robin Pilcher, 26, Kevin Taylor, 198, Kevin Ball, and 2.12, Sean Smith. Official result for you and a jiffy. Final was a win for number 31, Paul Simmons. Second place was number 82, Chris Still. Third place was number 65, Lee Bartlett, and fourth place was 201, Lee Pittman. Fifth was number 26, Kevin Taylor, and sixth was number 49, John Pilcher. Seventh was number 126, which is Kevin Taylor, not 26, who got that wrong, didn't I? Eighth was number 198, Kevin Ball. Ninth, number 212, Sean Smith, and tenth, number 28, S. May. The winner's time was 1 minute 31.81 seconds, a speed of 48.19 miles per hour. Fifth place was number 26, Paul May. From the top, 31, 82, 65, 201, 26, 49, 126, 198, 212 and 28. 1 minute 31.81 seconds, 
38.19 miles per hour. The left-hand sidecars come to do battle here at the GTSA's Hawley Howler. Apparently there's plans for another runway at Gatwick and we're just about sitting on it. Big petitions going on around the area. And uh, that A20, M23, whatever is Link Road over there is going to be tunnelled underneath this field. Big things happening. Don't suppose we'll have any grass track here then, will we? That's to close the airport for today. We are in Bourton. Left hand side cars, here they come. And uh, Clark Holland goes with him and Billy Penfold's there as well. Then Graham Elton, Graham Elton and Colin Clark. They're in fourth place at the moment, trying to go in the outside of Clive Holland. Down the back straight, they all go then. It's Terry Nicholas and Michael Raymond that lead. Billy Penfold. And Will Offen. Uh, then Graham Elton and Colin Clark. And Chris Berwick, Chris Downs and Steve Dowling bringing up the rear. Terry Nicholas and uh, Michael Raymond doing a grand job on that out front now. Bit of really bad. Take that away from them. Then it's Clive Holland. Clive Holland there with uh, Steve Fish. Then Graham Hilton and Colin Clark. Then Paul Grayson. Chris Berwick. Chris Downs and Steve Dowling. One for two. Terry Nicholas and Michael Raymond just one lap from victory for the Penfold. He's a bit between his teeth now as he chases hard down that back straight. Can he make up that deficit? On that one corner left remaining. He's going to give it a go. He's closing the gap as he comes in on that turn, but I think it's a tall order. As they come round that last turn for the last time, it's 1 4 2. Terry Nicholas and Michael Raymond that take the win. From 1 2 3, Billy Benfold. And we're off in second place. Then Clive Holland and Steve Fish. Then Graham Hilton and Colin Clark. And a fight to the finish here between Paul Grayson and Chris Berwick and 81. Chris Downs and Steve Dowling. Left-hand sidecar final is a win for number 142. Terry Phillips and... Uh, Terry Phillips. Terry Nicholas and Michael Raymond. In second place, number 123, Billy Penfold and Will Offin. In third place was number 27, Clive Holland and Steve Fish. Fourth place, 151, Graham Hilton and Colin Clark. Fifth place, number 8, Paul Grayson and Chris Berwick. And sixth place, number 81, Chris Downs and Steve Dowling. The winner's time was 1 minute 38. 0.33 seconds, a speed of 44.99 miles per hour. This is a race 44, the 350cc solo final. Race 44, on the line, here they come. No, no, it's a even break. Who is it going to be as they come down towards the first turn? Don't you be in front of the break. Lewis Denham goes round on the outside. Lewis Denham gets the power on early. He chases after him. He has somebody down on the first turn. Looks a bit like Gareth Hickmott. But he's up on OK. Well, on that next turn they come then and Lewis Denham's picked it up. He's got out in front and he's going for it. And 139 David Lewis Denham. So is then Kevin Buck. Those three are very, very close together as Lewis Denham pulls away from the rest of the field. Lewis Denham, just 16 years of old, the man for Oxfordshire has come to conquer. He flies it around that track. He's got the throttle wide open. It's over one, Lewis Denham, from Bob Solman, from Kevin Buck. And this is Matt Hodrington and Steve Higgins side by side. Then Chris Pay, Gordon Walker. Somebody stopped on the top turn there, I don't know who that is. That's Richard Smith board out there. Here comes, 81, Lewis Denham with one more lap to go. From 16, Bob Dolman, from 139, Dave Mears, from Kevin Buck. 
That is Matt Edrington. Steve Wiggins. Chris Pye. Gordon Walker. And uh, Gareth Hickmott starts the long push back to the paddock. He's got to get on the 500 and make the other final. Here's 81. Lewis Shannon taking the win. 16. Ron Goldman. From Dave Mears. From Kevin Buck. Matt Edrington. Chris Pye. 84, Gordon Walker, number 6, Steve Higgins. The uh, machine appears to have stopped running as he crosses the line. Race 44 to 350cc solo final was a win for 81, Lewis Denham. Second place, 16, Bob Dolman. Third place, 139, David Mears. Fourth place, number four, Kevin Buck. Fifth place, number five, Matt Etherington. Sixth place, number 59, Chris Pay. Seventh place, 84, Gordon Walker. Eighth place, number six, Steve Higgins. No other finishers. The winner's time was 1 minute 24.79 seconds, an average speed of 52.18 miles per hour. Official overall result, if I can do this before they go off the line, is first Clive Willis and Richard Webb on 30 points. Second is Keith Richards and Gareth Bannister on 21 points. And third was Mike Reed and Mark Thorpe on 19 points. Try, might try and give you that one again later. Now we line up for the upright solo final. Top of the tree on points is 174, Robin Pelcher. Then it's 189, Rob Snow. 62, Les Rowland. 2, Adrian Harden. 141, Michael Tucky. Twenty-seven, Rick Humphreys. 82, Graham Waterfield. 52, Keith Crasher Webb. 364, Roy Hazelden. 126, Kevin Taylor. That's the lineup. Here they come. Right on time off that start line. Michael Tucky pulls a bit of a wheelie. Robin Pilcher gets the way. Then let's go. Then Keith Crasher Webb coming in on the outside there. Keith Webb holding on to that third place. Rick Humphries moves up in the fourth behind him. Then Michael Tucky. But look at that man getting away. Rob Pilcher. He knows what to do in this one. And James Peters just gets off the line now. Problems on the line for him and problems on the line for one other. And here they come. It's 174 Robin Pilcher. From 62, Les Rowland. From 52, Crash of Bears, then 27 to come with an Adrian Hart and then Michael Tucky. Keith Webb squirting on that throttle. Round they come then. 174, Robin Belcher. Then it's 62, Les Rowland. Then it's 52, Keith Webb. Then two. Adrian Hart, Adrian Hart and sneaks up on the inside of, on, inside of Keith Webb as Keith Webb goes wide into the turn but he keeps the momentum up and comes out wide as well but Adrian Hart now zooms up on the inside on that straight. Robin Pilcher it is the lead, then it's Les Rogan, then that battle between uh, Adrian Hart and Keith Webb as Keith Webb tightens his line up there. Then it's one ball, one ball, Michael Tucky now going to go with Keith Webb as they enter the last lap. Robin Pilcher with only half a lap left to go. He's left the rest of them for dead, and I'm trying to keep my eyes on all of them. That means I'll miss everything. Round they come, then it's 174, Robin Pilcher that takes the win. Aiming now for second place is 62, Les Rogan, then Adrian Hart, Michael Tucky, Kevin Taylor, Rick Humphries, Keith Webb, Roy Hazelden, and Graham Waterfield. Another cracking race at the Hawley Howler. Both the upright solos, a win for 174, Robin Pilcher. Second place in number 62, Les Rowland. Third place was number 2, Adrian Harden. Fourth place was 141, Michael Tucky. Fifth place was 126, Kevin Taylor. And sixth place, 26, Rick Humphries. Seventh place, 52, Keith Webb. Eighth place, 364, Roy Hazelden. Ninth place, number 82, Graham Waterfield. And in tenth place, the reserve, number 45, James Peters. The winner's time was 1 minute 31.66 seconds, a speed of 48.27 miles per hour.
A big run for the right hand side, car final comes to the line. We look for 17, Dave Steer and Ian Whale. 183, Ian Liamis and Simon Beanie. 92. Paul Whitelam and Dave Williams. 16, Mark Sharak. And Kevin Fuller. 748, Lewis Cook and Rob Hargrave. And number 99, Trevor Colvin and T Saunders. If you see another machine out there, it should be 514. That's our reserve. If somebody else can't make it, that's 514. Ryan and Gavin Partridge. This is the big one then for the 1,000cc right-hand sidecars this afternoon. Starter doesn't look happy. And the revs rise. Tapes fly and here they come down the first straight. Lewis Cook makes the break. Dave Steer goes with him. Lewis Cook takes the wide line into the corner. It looks like he's dropped back to fourth and hammered back up to second. But that wide line, I'm sure, won't pay off. We've got 17. Dave Steer leading. One eight three. Second place. And Paul Whitelam. And then Lewis Cook in fourth. Down the back straight they go then. 17. Dave Steer and Ian Whale, ridden many times together over the years. They come out of that turn now, ahead of Ian Diamis and Simon Beanie. Then it's Paul uh, Whiteman and Dave Williams. Here's Cook and Rob Hargrave, Trevor Colvin and T Saunters. Mark Sharrock and Kevin Fuller bringing up the rear. Oh no, they've got past Trevor Colvin now. Last lap is Dave Steer and Ian Wiles. Coming in the Amis and Simon Beanie. As they come round that last turn for the last time, one last square to the throttle on the Steer Yamaha for Dave Steer and Ian Wiles. They take the win. Ian Amis and uh, Simon Beanie happy with second there. Paul Whitelam and Dave Williams in third. Lewis Cook and Rob Hargrave in fourth. Mark Sharon and Kevin Fuller in fifth. Trevor Colvin and T Saunters in sixth. Official result coming up. Round they come then. Show your appreciation. Dave Steer was the winner. Ian Leamis was in second place. Paul Whitelam was in third. Then Lewis Cook, Mark Sharrock and Trevor Colvin. Excellent racing, excellent performance, chaps. Well done, Dave and Ian. And the official result of the right-hand side car final. A win for number 17, Dave Steer and Ian Wiles. Second place, number 183. Ian Leamis and Simon Beanie. Third place, the 92, Paul Whitelam. And Dave Williams. Fourth place to 748, Lewis Cook and Rob Hargrave. Fifth place to number 16, Mark Sharrock and Kev Fuller. And sixth place to number 99, Trevor Colvin and T Saunters. The winner's time at 1 minute 15.86 seconds gives an average speed of 51.49 miles per hour. Please do that for me and for GTSA. Here comes the 500cc solo final, the big one of the afternoon. Lewis Cook goes Powers into that first turn, he goes into the corner fast and he came down the straight and he goes out of that turn, he's pulling as quick, he's down the back straight now and going for it. Gareth Hickmott was in second, Mark Giles goes underneath of uh, Gareth Hickmott, Julian Phipps trying to come round the outside, but it's Lewis Denham all the way at the moment, and he's going for it, Mark Giles in second. Gareth Hickmott in third, then Jim Mount, then Julian Phipps, then James Cawthorne. Then John Pilcher. And just look at the man from Oxford go. He's going to try and do the double this afternoon. 81 with Lewis Denham. He's 26, Mark Giles. Then it's Gareth Hickmott in third. Then it's Julian Pips, Jim Mount. James Cawthorne, Robin Pilger. Seven, Gilbert Jarrett, Daniel Berg, Martin Sturgeon. Flat out out of that turn they come. They last that flag. He started a week already. He's got another lap to do yet. Down goes Gareth Hickmott. He's cracked out of both finals this afternoon. That's bad luck for him. Look at the 
Denham's got it all his own way. Let's hope that those marshals can signal to him that there's somebody on the floor as he comes round that uh, corner. Round he comes in, it's 81, Lewis Denham. Second place to Mark Giles. Third place to Julian Phipps. James Corbray, then Tim Mount, then Robin Pilcher, Stephen Gilbert Jarrett, Daniel Berwick, Martin Sturgeon. Another interesting race here at the Hawley Howler. Another one to celebrate Lewis Denham done the double. The Denham double. Oh, that sounds like an interesting headline, but a smooth way start. A Denham double. Denham does the double. How about that? Three Ds. Denham does the double. Wheeling it down the back straight there then. That's uh, Lewis Denham. Julian Phipps goes after him. What a cracking race that was. The 500cc solo final. Very sporting of Tim Mount to take Gareth Hickmott back. Save him pushing another machine home today. Bad luck there for Gareth, crashed out of both finals. Looked a, 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 a threat to anybody in both of them. Final was cracking win there for number 81, Lewis Denham. Second place to number 26, Mark Giles. Third place for 73, Julian Phipps. Fourth place to 169, James Gawthray. Fifth place to number 17, Tim Mount. Sixth place to 174, Robin Pelcher. Seventh place to number 50, Bevan Gilbert Jarrett. And in 8th place, number 68, Daniel Berwick. And in ninth place, number 15, Martin Sturgeon. No other finishes. The winner's time was 1 minute 23.99 seconds with an average speed of 52.67 miles per hour. Billy Pendrell is going to come out and do one lap. Thank you. Here they come. Julian right? Phipps gets down to the first turn first from Michael Peters. 73, Julian Phipps, squirting on the throttle, Michael Peters in second place. 73, Julian Phipps, Michael Peters, James Peters, Stuart Allen, Rick Humphries, Kevin Taylor and John Chaldicott. Round they come then, flat out and motoring. Out of that turn at half distance, it's 73, Julian Phipps on the Jawa from 37, Michael Willett, Boston Peters. James Peters in third place, challenging his brother's uh, moves bare very hard. Then it's Kevin Taylor, then it's Stuart Allen, Rick Humphreys and John Shortycock. That's the last lap flag, it's 73, Julian Phipps, that's one lap from victory now, from 37, Michael Peters, from his brother James Peters, from 156, Kevin Taylor, from Ian Allen, Rick Humphries and John Chaldicott. Last turn for the last time, and he seems to be slowing up rather, but he's got the motor back on now as he comes out of that turn to take the chequered flag, it's 73. Julian Phipster takes the win from 37, Michael Peters, from James Peters, from Kevin Taylor, from Stuart Allen, Rick Humphreys, and John Shortycott. And a win there for number 73, Julian Phipps. Second place to number 37, Michael Peters. Third place to number 45, James Peters. Fourth place to number 126, Kevin Taylor. Fifth place to number 43, Stuart Allen. Sixth place to number 27, Rick Humphrey. And seventh place to number 67, John Chaldicott. No other finishes. The winner's time at 1 minute 33.41 seconds, a speed of 47.36.